News Network Bulletin and I am Natalie Manzoko. Here are your headlines. Mpilo Hospital gets a facelift. ICT is seen as a key enabler for growth in Zimbabwe. Zanu PF to hold its annual People's Conference in December. Former Midlands Governor convicted. Now for your news in detail. The Ministry of ICT Postal and Courier Services has unveiled a fully equipped and refurbished hospital ward at Bilo Central Hospital in Bulawayo. The refurbishments were done by Tel1 and Net1 to help fight against COVID-19 in Zimbabwe. Here is Lee Mangena for more. Mpilo Central Hospital has received a donation of personal protective equipment, PPE, from Net1 and Tel1 in order to protect health workers at the hospital against COVID-19. In an interview with Next Level News Network, Net1's Public Relations Executive Director, Dr. Eldrick Shereni, spelled out the following. Okay, so as uh, Net1, one of our key health pillars, or CSI pillars, is One Health, which is focused on STG3 and STG6. So as part of that, we actually came into collaboration with Tel1 as a COVID-19 intervention that looked at four key focus areas. One being the provision of personal protective uh, equipment, which we actually donated and handed over to three facilities back in May uh, 2020. We then also installed five boreholes, three at Salim Gabe Hospital, one uh, very deep one at um, Pilo Hospital, along with the tanks and another one at Beatrice Infectious Diseases Hospital. To top up our um, intervention, we also bought critical medical equipment, new beds, uh, fusion pumps, patient monitors, oxygen tanks, humidifiers, etc. for the three facilities. And we then adopted two wards, one at Salim Mugabe Hospital, which was Ward A1, uh, which we unveiled a couple of weeks ago. And today we then unveiled the Mpilo, the Ward B5. So we did the full refurbishment of those wards. Uh, that included uh, refurbishing all the plumbing amenities. It also looked at reflooring, where we had to strip the old floors and put in new vinyl flooring. We also looked at um, repainting uh, the wards, reinforcing the curtain rails, etc., and just bringing the ward uh, into a modernized setup. Next Level News Network also spoke to Tel One Managing Director Chipom Tasa, and she had this to say. Today we're witnessing the conclusion of our collaborated with the corporate social investment program with Net One, where we came together to um, uh, assist in the COVID-19 response by refurbishing some hospital wards. Net One and Tel One are state-owned enterprises. Lee Mangina. Next Level News Network, Bulawayo. Former Midlands Governor Jason Machaya convicted for abuse of office by the Gweru Magistrate Court. This is according to his lawyer, Alec Muchadehama. According to the state, Machaya unlawfully diverted more than 1,000 stands, which Gokwe Town Council had allocated to the local government ministry as common edge. Sentencing will be done soon. Zano PF will hold its 19th National People's Conference in Bindura Mashonaland Central. This was according to the press conference held on Monday the 21st at the Zano PF headquarters in Harare. Opposition leader Job Sikala has been granted bail of $50,000 by the High Court Judge Erika Ndewere. Sikala is facing charges of inciting public violence. He stands accused of posting videos on social media calling on the public to commit violence and revote against the government of Zimbabwe. For more news, visit our website www.nlnn.co.zw.